Hi everyone, so today I'm here with a video that I had planned on getting uploaded last week but um, when I went to edit it I totally forgot to record a whole part of the video so I had to re-record it and I haven't had the chance until today so today I'm here with my most anticipated releases of 2014 video so I've split this video into four categories first of all we have 2014 debuts and then we have standalones, uh, continuing series and sequels and then other because there isn't really a category for them to go into but they're books that I really 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 want to read and I want to tell you guys about them. So first of all let's start off with the debuts for 2014. At number five we have Far From You by Tess Sharp. This is about a girl called Sophie Winters who has nearly died twice. Her best friend Mina is killed and the police put it off as a drug deal gone wrong. And they think that Sophie is partially to blame but no one will believe her or listen to her. So Sophie decides that she's going to look for Mina's killer by herself and I think this is going to be a pretty good mystery novel. I'm really excited for it already and I know this is going to be one I'm going to grab as soon as it comes out. It's been published by Disney Hyperion and it comes out on April 8th and I just really can't wait. I'm probably going to pre-order it. At number 4 we have Stolen Songbirds by Danielle L. Jensen. Now I don't really know much about this one. I know it's a high fantasy novel. I know there are witches and trolls and magic and a kidnapping so that just basically grabs me straight away and I know I'm going to read it. It's been marketed for people who've loved Serafina and Graceling, which are two fancy novels I haven't read yet, but I do plan on reading this year. So I am really, really excited for this one. It's been published by Strange Chemistry and it's been released on April 1st, so I'm definitely going to be keeping my eye out for that one. At number three, we have Half Bads by Sally Green. This one I know uh, revolves around um, black witches and white witches which are basically bad witches and good witches and uh, there's a boy I think whose dad was the most powerful black witch and his mother was a white witch and he's coming into his powers and he's getting both sides so I assume he's going to be an extremely powerful witch and lots of people are going to be coming after him in this book. And it sounds really good. Uh, I really like the cover as well. Um, that's what drew me into the book in the first place. So I'm pretty excited to see what that one's going to be about. It's being released by Viking Juvenile and it's coming out on March 4th. So I'm pretty excited for this one and I'm definitely going to be buying it in March. At number two we have The Murder Complex by Lindsay Cummings. Oh, this is a dystopian thriller and it just sounds fantastic. It's set in a futuristic world where the murder rate is higher than the birth rate. Our main character Meadow lives in Florida on a houseboat with her family and the state is controlled by the murder complex and they basically like regulate the population which I assume means that when the population gets a certain level they start killing off people. I'm not too sure but that's my assumption. And our main character meets a boy who is one of the murder complex's um, programmed killers. So it sounds absolutely amazing and I cannot wait for this one. Luckily I have an e-arc of this one that I got from Edelweiss and I'm trying my hardest not to read it right now because I just really really want to. But it isn't being released until June 12th so I need to put it off for quite a while. Um, I really don't want to but I need to. And this one is being published by Green Lowell. And my most anticipated debut of 2014 is Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page. This is a sort of retelling, uh, not really a retelling because it's kind of like a continuation on from the Wizard of Oz. Our main character Amy, she is being sent to Oz because Dorothy went back to Oz after she left and completely took over and started becoming a tyrant. So she has to go back and sort out Dorothy basically and just basically get rid of her and fix everything again. So it sounds absolutely amazing and I cannot wait for this one. It's been published by HarperCollins and it's been released on April 1st so I will definitely, definitely get my hands on this one when it comes out. And now we're on to the sequels and continuing series that I'm really looking forward to coming out this year. 
So I'm not going to talk very much about the books that are on this list because they are sequels or third books in the series and I don't want to spoil it for anyone so I'm just going to list them and say why I'm really excited for them. So there are six on this list because there are just too many coming out next year that I want so I have the next one. At number six we have The Blood of Olympus by Rick Riordan. This is the fifth and final book in the Heroes of Olympus series and I just have to find out what the hell is going to happen at the end of the series because so much has been going on from the first book and it's all just a big continuing arc and I need to find out how everything's going to end. It's been published by Disney Hyperion and it doesn't come out until October 7th so hopefully this year will go by very fast because I need this book like right now. At number five we have Ruin and Rising by Leigh Bardugo. This is the third and final book in the Nakusha trilogy and yet again I just have to know how this is going to happen. I need more Alina, I need more Darkling, I need more Stormwind. I could do without any more Mal though but yeah the first three I need more of them like right now and I just I can't wait to see how everything is going to end especially after the ending of Siege and Storm so super super excited. This one's been published by Henry Holt and Co and it doesn't come out until June 3rd. Luckily that's not too far away but still it feels like it right now so June better hurry up. At number 4 we have Split Second by Casey West. This is the follow up to Pivot Point which I read last year and I absolutely loved it. Uh, I'm really excited for this one because I need more Addy, I need more Trevor and plus Layla has a big storyline in this one so super super excited for this one. It's being released by Harper Teen and it comes out in February 11th which is only next month so not that long to wait so I'm even more excited. At number 3 we have Crest by Marissa Meyer. This is the third book in the Lunar Chronicles series and I just, I need this book. It's like so so badly need this book. I've read the first chapter of Cress already which just makes me even more excited for it. I need more Cinder, Thorn, um, Wolf, Scarlet. I need to find out about Cress. I need more Kai. I need more everyone. I need more of this world. Marissa Meyer's Lunar Chronicles series is one of my favourites that I discovered last year so I just need this next book. It's been published by Fuel and Friends and it comes out on February 4th so very 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 close. I already have my copy pre-ordered because I want it right now so hopefully it will turn up um, before the release date or on the release date because I need it. And at number one we have the third Throne of Glass book by Sarah J Maas. This one doesn't have a cover, doesn't have a release date, doesn't have a title, but it's my most anticipated release um, sequel continuing series for this year because oh, Crown of Midnight left me a, just a complete mess. It was amazing. Sarah J Maas is such an amazing author and I know this one's just going to completely blow all my expectations um, away because it's just going to be fantastic and I need it. Maybe we'll get a title and a release date soon please because I need to know when this is going to be released. I need more Selena, I need more Kale and I need more assassin me behaviour. So yeah, I need it. So this is the end of part one of my most anticipated releases of 2014. I've had to split this because it's such a long video so part two should hopefully be up very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching part one and I'll see you guys soon with part two. Bye everyone.